Hi, this is Ron from 724 Support TV. Today we're going to show you how you can convert your very loud server room into a room so quiet you can actually film video in it. Um, most companies have a really loud server room, but they can convert that from a horrifically noisy server room like this to a quiet server room like this. And today we're going to show you the specific details about how to do just that. Typical sources of noise are loud servers. Loud switches and firewalls. And loud air conditioning units. Some servers require their own physical hardware. Active Directory servers, that's good for NAS devices, backup devices, um, firewalls, monitoring servers, there are a variety of things. So for those that needed physical hardware, we converted them from traditional 1U loud boxes into these quieter, low power, low noise, um, 1U Atom servers. And you can see our other videos on how to build some of these for yourself. For those servers that couldn't be converted to small 1U servers, we did a couple of things. First, we moved as many of them as we could into a VM machine housed inside this 4U server on the top. And then we had additional servers that had lots of disk or needed lots of CPU in other large servers. Each of these servers has intake provided by two 120 millimeter fans that are quite quiet as opposed to a um, single or a pair or five 40 millimeter loud server fans. So they're quite quiet. Additionally, we can put in big quiet power supplies with 120 or 140 millimeter fans. Most of the ATX fans like that also under conditions of low load, actually turn their fans off. On to switch gear. Most office switches can be replaced with switches that don't have fans at all. We use these for distribution switches. This particular pair of switches are gigabyte, gigabit switches that we're using to distribute signals to servers and into the office. Also, high noise firewalls can be replaced with um, firewalls like the Cisco ASA 5505. We've tested this with 3,500 connections per second, and it performs all the normal Cisco firewall functions without all the associated firewall noise. So if you, have, want, if you need a proper firewall, this is a good model. For managed switches and PoE switches, which require a lot of power and therefore heat, and you can't really replace them with anything that's not gonna be loud, what we've done instead is replace their internal loud 40 millimeter server class fans with externally mounted 120 millimeter quiet case fans. We have another video that shows how to make this mod. It, uh, it works really well. We've got a couple of them. You'll notice this particular one is named Fanboy. Um, but it works great. I'll see if I can show you more a closer shot of that. We're off the tripod now because I have to stand behind the relay rack, but here you see one of our modified switches with an external 120 millimeter fan. It's uh, quite quiet and quite frankly you can't hear it at all even though it's spinning at uh, 7 volts in this particular case. So it's an easy mod to make. We have another video showing you how to do it and I'm just showing you one in production running happily right now. The next thing we did when we built out the server room is choose an office that has hard walls. In this case, there are two layers of traditional um, sheetrock that go all the way to the ceiling. You could insulate them or do something else clever, but fundamentally these are sheetrock walls that go to the ceiling. The next thing we did was we installed a standard home exterior door. This particular one is a double pane French door with blinds embedded, but a solid metal or solid wood door that was designed for exterior use is what you need. They come in standard sizes and swings, and in this case it's a double door with the stuff inside, but still I think it cost us just $600. 
One thing you'll note is that unlike a traditional interior door in an office building, this has weather stripping all the way around it. This is designed to keep wind out from your home, if this was a patio door, but in our case it keeps noise in. And when there's a dedicated HVAC running, it keeps the cold in as well. Most server rooms have a portable air conditioning unit in them. Um, often a wall mount unit like this if they have a window or a move and cool or other sort of portable air conditioning device. These are always really loud because they have fans running. We're going to show you how to replace that with a better use of HVAC. Our server room has this device for two and only two reasons and is used occasionally. First, for the times when we're testing high heat generating servers for clients and second on really hot days when frankly the house HVAC even properly configured can't keep up with it. But most of the time it is off. The next thing we did was had our HVAC guy come in and install a standard house HVAC um, cold air blower above the front of the servers with an exhaust behind the servers. This creates a hot and cold aisle exactly as you would find in a data center. This means that the servers breathe cold air in and exhaust hot air out where it is sent out. The fact that we're using house air conditioning means that it's going to always be cooler or quieter rather than if we were using <coughs> dedicated air conditioners inside the server room. It didn't cost very much to have him simply relocate existing intake and outlet which typically exists in all hardwall offices in any event. This was simply a question of moving it from one place to another to create the hot and cold aisle and careful positioning of the cabinets. One thing we did do though because HVAC runs cold air, air conditioning in the summer, and hot air heating in the winter, was we installed a valve, a simple turn valve above the um, ceiling tiles so that in the winter we turn it off to shut out, shut down the airflow in so we're not actually heating the server room. This means that in the winter the servers heat the server room and any hot air does still get exhausted out because that's a negative pressure zone and in the summer they're cooled by house air. So there you have it. Each of these changes cost less than $1,000. Most cost less than $500 and some of them cost on the order of $25. The way to go about it is to find the loudest sound source in your data center or server room, make it quieter, and find the next loudest and make it quieter and so on and so forth until you have a completely quiet server room. This has been Ron for 724 Support TV. Please subscribe and comment. Let us know if you have any other questions or if you'd like help in quieting your server room. Have a great day.